Do you know how to access an OLT through Natlink HG3 to 3DSE ONT Wi-Fi? Firstly connect Netlink OLT to the PC. Then go to LUN settings. Open your PC network settings. Change IP manually. Click the OK button. Then open your web browser. Enter your OLT IP address on the address bar. 192.168.8.200 Then press enter button. A dialog box will appear. Type your username and password. Enter verification code and click on the submit button. We will log in to OLT status page and you can see the OLT basic information details. The initial step is to set lookback time or a new profile, service profile, etc. Click the OLT configuration tab. Select lookback option. Click global option. Then enable status. Select mode only alarm. Set age time. Click the submit button. Then select system configuration tab. Select system time option. Set year, month, date, hour minute click the submit button click login management option click the clean button to clear the login access list after that create ONU profile and service profile Click the Profile Configuration tab. Select the ONU Profile option. Click Add Profile option. The Profile Creation table will appear. Enter Profile Name. Type Profile Description. Enter Max VEIP Count. Click the commit button. Then create a service profile. Click the service profile option. Click add profile option. Enter your service profile name. Click the Add button. Select Details and Modify option. Select the Mode option and set it as Transparent. Choose Port Type as VEIP. Enter Port ID. Click the Commit button. The service profile creation is completed, then create the VLAN.
Select the OLT Configuration tab. Click the VLAN option. Enter your VLAN ID. Enter description. Click the add button. VLAN ID created. Then set VLAN. Then tag VLAN in app link port, which you receive the ISP service. Select the VLAN port option. Choose your VLAN ID. Choose your port and tag it. Click the submit button. After that, you can create another management VLAN for accessing purpose. Click the VLAN option. Enter your VLAN ID. Enter description. Click the add button. VLAN ID created. We do not need to tag this VLAN to uplink port. because this VLAN is only used for managing purposes. After that, you can give the IP address for this VLAN. Remember one thing, you can give the IP in the ONT's same IP range. Select the route option Select the management VLAN in the VLAN ID option. Enter your ONT same IP range in the IP address option. Then enter your subnet mask in the subnet mask option. Click the submit button. Next step is to create a line profile including management VLAN. Select the profile configuration tab on the side menu. Select line profile option. Then select the add profile option on the top. Enter your profile name. Click the Add button. Line Profiles list will appear. Click Details and Modify option. Enter TCONT name. Click the Add button. Select the jam port option on the top. Enter a jam port name. Click the add button. Select service option. Enter your VLAN in the VLAN list option. Click the add button. Then click the service port option on the top. Enter your user VLAN and translate VLAN. Click the add button.
we create a line profile now. Then add the O entity for selecting O entity managing. Select the ONU configuration tab on the side. Select the ONU auto find option. Choose ONU and select the add button. Add ONU table will appear. Select ONU profile. Click the submit button. Select ONU Auth List option. Click the Refresh button to refresh the page. Here you can see that the ONU is online. Then bind the ONU Service Profile and Line Profile. Select the Profile Configuration tab on the side menu. Click Bind profile option select config option select your line profile and service profile click the commit button a dialog box will appear click the ok button then back to status page click the save button to save all the configurations in OLT. Then we need to log in ONT. Open a new tab. Enter your ONT login IP on the address bar. ONT login page will appear. Enter your username and password. Enter verification code and click on the login button. We will log in to the ONT status page. Then create an additional SSID. Select the network tab on the top. Network setting options are available here. Select 5G option. Select the mode as multiple access point. Here we need to create an additional SSID access point 1. Click to enable access point 1. Give an SSID name. Click the Apply Changes button. Click the OK button. Back to the status page. Then configure the WAN connection. Select the Network tab on the top. Scroll down and delete the default WAN configuration. Select Create Add New WAN Connection. Select Mode as Route. Choose IP Protocol Mode as IPv4 on the drop down list. You can select IPv4, IPv6, whichever is suggested or used by your ISP. Select PPOI checkbox. Enable net. Enable VLAN. Enter your VLAN ID. Type username and password. Ensure service mode as internet. Choose your binding port. Select port 1, port 2 and wireless SSID 15G, wireless SSID 52.4G. 
click the apply button then go back to the status page select one info option here you can see the status is up next we need to configure the bridge mode select the network tab select create add new one connection Select mode as breach. Choose IP protocol mode as IPv4 on the drop down list. You can select IPv4, IPv6, whichever is suggested or used by your ISP. Enable net. Enable VLAN. Enter your VLAN ID. Ensure service mode has internet. Then remove the tick mark of turn off LAN DHCP checkbox. Choose your binding port. Select wireless SSID 2. Click the Apply Changes button. Then back to the status page. Select one info option. Then try to connect SSID to in your phone Wi-Fi or PC. Open your phone Wi-Fi. Search available network. Click to connect SSID to OLT access. Now Wi-Fi is connected. Open your web browser. Then enter your IP address on the URL. 192.168.1.200 A dialog box will appear. Type your username and password. Enter verification code and click on the login button. Now you can see that we are able to access the OLT through ONT Wi-Fi. Please subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon there for getting notifications. Leave a comment.